setting our tone ground, I'm going to crop off the size of my drawing. I want the drawing to be something around 11 by 14, and I have the second sketch pad lying around, so I use it as a guide. I'm using it to make sure the angles are nice right angles, and I'm making sure to keep my dimensions in mind while I do it. All, right, all you need to set a ground is a pencil and a paper towel. The pencil for putting down the ground and then the paper towel will be for smudging it later. I'm using the just the regular number two pencil. Once the drawing's all cropped up, you start drawing with the pencil. We're trying to fill in the entire space, the same even tone. Making sure the value is even is what's most important. The jagged pencil marks that come up and the streakiness will go away mostly when you smooth it later, but it is nice to keep them uh, consistent in the same direction. If you're going to go diagonally, keep it diagonally. If you're going to go cross to cross, keep it cross to cross because it does show up later somewhat. What we're going for here is a nice mid-tone, meaning our value is right in the middle of our value scale. Um, all we essentially need to do for this step is to cover the entire drawing just like that value, just the same value all the way through. If you happen to have a stick of graphite, you may prefer it over the pencil. Uh, it might make the job a little bit easier or uh, quicker to do. Um, just make sure it's the same hardness as the pencil, which again is 2B. Um, I actually prefer the pencil because of the texture lines it makes. It's subtle, but it's, it's um, a little bit more control than the graphite, which picks up all the little bumps and, and bends of the paper. When it's all covered, go over any blotchy areas or incomplete areas and try to fill those in and even the value out while you do it. When you feel it's nice and even, it's time to blend the graphite on the paper. Uh, making a nice little cushion gives better pressure if you were to hold the paper towel flat against the paper. In in tight circles, you blend the graphite as much as it will. If you think you can be clever and just uh, blend straight across from edge to edge, it won't really work that way. You gotta be um, small and tight all the way through uh, and, until the entire area is buffed out. Make any adjustments that you'd like. I'm just trying to make sure the value is nice and even. When you feel like it's as even as it can be, you're done. But before you call it a day, make sure it's a middle tone like you were going for. If it's way too dark or way too light, it's going to be hard to work with when it comes to the drawing. So take this opportunity to check it, and if it's not quite right, you can go over the drawing again and adjust it, make it a little bit darker or 
um, lighter as needed with your eraser. But it's best just to be careful while you're setting it not to go too dark. And don't worry about cleaning the margins until after you draw because they're just going to get messy anyway. Now you're good to draw. Thanks for watching.